today I'm going to show you how to make this very simple lantern for Chinese New Year. And Chinese New Year starts February 2nd this year. So for the Chinese New Year, it's a different calendar day every year. It happens to be February 2nd this year. And so we're going to be celebrating making a simple little lantern. And in China, and lots of little countries around China, they do these light festivals or lantern festivals to celebrate New Year's and to do other celebrations. And they would light them and hang them all in the streets, between streets, from, from side to side on the streets, filling with beautiful red lanterns. And they would also light at the very end of this festival, the very last day, they would light some giant lanterns made out of paper, and they would be white lanterns. And they would have a little candle at the bottom, and then they would go up into the sky with their New Year's wish. That's at the actual lantern festival on February 2nd. So it's a big, beautiful celebration. And for the Chinese New Year, this is the, this is the time that's one of their biggest holidays. Since a lot of Chinese people are not Christian and they don't celebrate Christmas, now some do, but the majority don't, this is their big holiday celebration. And the children usually receive little red envelopes with actual money in them. And years ago, it used to be coins, little golden coins in the little red envelopes. But now they get, get a gift of money. And it would be kind of comparable to a Christmas holiday. So a very big holiday for them. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to show you how to make these little Chinese lanterns. And this is just the simple paper cut lantern. For my students, I gave them this sheet and they colored it because this year in China is the year of the tiger. And so we have a giant tiger on our lantern and you can kind of see, I'll move it so you can see him be behind here. I have the tiger here inside the lantern. So my kids, what they did was they hand, they hand painted the tiger first and now we're gonna be making it. And I'm just gonna show you how to make this. So the first step when you have your copy paper is I'm actually gonna be cutting off the Chinese New Year Year of the Tiger. So that's gonna take an inch off and then I'm gonna take a half inch off the bottom. So if you don't have my Chinese New Year paper, you can um, go ahead and click on the title of the video and it'll take you to some accounts that you can download from it or you're gonna be cutting off an inch and a half of the copy paper at the top. So for us, we're gonna be cutting off the title. Directly below the title, I'm just cutting off that piece. And then I'm also gonna be cutting off probably almost a half inch. I'm just kind of dividing what I have left over at the bottom in half which is approximately half an inch I'm cutting off. So see how I'm just cutting right down the middle between this line and the edge of the page. So I'm just cutting off that. So I cut a little bit off the each side, the top and bottom. Now I'm, gonna, I'm ready to actually cut my colored paper. It's gonna be the lantern color. Now we have a piece of standard 9 by 12 color paper. So I'm going to put, put this picture aside and this is approximately almost 7 inches. So if you're cutting down your paper, you want to have it a 7 inch piece by eight, um, 11. Now I'm going to line up this paper and I have a little bit of leftover paper here. So I'm just gonna trim off that. It's approximately an inch off of the nine by 12 colored paper. So I'm gonna put this aside now. Now what I'm gonna do is I wanna fold this, the two long sides together. So I'm simply folding this up Then I'm gonna simply take my ruler at the top of the page and I'm gonna run a line. And you can do this with a pencil even. You want a light color, but I'm gonna do a Sharpie so you can see it. And now 
I'm gonna be taking and cutting through the fold approximately a half inch wide, which is the width of a finger. So I cut through the fold to the line on the top, and you can make these thinner if you want to. You'll just have more slats. This will be called a slat here. You'll have more slats if you make it thinner, which is fine. But it's approximately a half an inch. I'm cutting through the fold to the line. And the line is the open side. Approximately a half an inch. And I'm gonna do this all the way to the end. Once you've cut all of your little slats, we'll call them, then I'm going to fold this open and then I'm gonna fold it the other way, the opposite way. That way my line doesn't show. See how my line's at the top? I want that to be inside. So I'm folding it the opposite way. Now, I'm gonna place a line of glue between my Sharpie line and the edge of the page. Just like so. I'm gonna close this again, kind of smear it together and open it right up real fast. That way it's smeared on both sides now. The top and the bottom, the glue is smeared. I take my lantern shape, and remember you want it all colored already because you can't color it once you make it. And I'm gonna line up the lantern shape simply to the very top of this page. Press, and I line up the bottom of the lantern to the bottom of this page. And press. So now I have this, looks like a giant tent shape. And then I'm simply going to place some glue here. If you rub it in with your finger, it kind of helps. And I'll wipe my finger. Now I'm just gonna make a cylinder shape. So I'm folding it around. I'm gonna lift up the end here. See how I'm lifting up the last one? And then I'm gonna put the glue side, the part that I glued, just tuck it in here, like so. And then I'll put a dot of glue here to glue down the, the red part. And now I have my beautiful Chinese lantern. Now, you can, see how this folds out like this? You can leave it like this, or if you just press it right here, you can have it invert that fold. So it kind of folds out, like so. You can do just the top, or you can do top and bottom. So that's up to you how you want these to pop out. I just simply take my finger and kind of press it down. It opens up the lantern a little bit more so you can see your artwork. And you just continue going around. I like it opened like this better. And there you have it. And you just finish all around. For the handle, I just put a little bit of glue. I used the Chinese New Year strip from the top. And I put a little bit of glue on one side and then I put a little bit of glue on the other side of the strip, and then I attach it inside the lantern. And I line it up so that the tiger is in the front, and then the handle goes around like this on each side. That way you can have the handle centered, like so. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and I want to give a big shout out to my patrons who support this channel. If you would like to support this channel or to have access to some of these worksheets, 
hit the title of the video and it'll take you to some links where you can find the worksheets.